weekly market numbers, Hoboken, Jersey City, January 26, 2024. I'm Brian Murray, and here's a look at these numbers. The fact is that the amount of available homes is basically the same. Same as at the beginning of the year, same as a month ago or two months ago. That means almost zero. There are no homes. You can see that the con that there are some contracts that have come in, um, even in this kind of quiet time. If you look at the last month, I mean that it also the last thirty days. It includes, you know, the time between Christmas and New Year's, which is kind of takes away a week. And and just take a look at that. You know, I mean it's uh, you know, twenty five and twenty one under contract. So if you took out the week and you extrapolated, it might be more in the thirties range, which it basically keeps this market flat at, you know, available homes of under 60 in Hoboken and around 160 in Jersey City. You take out the new construction, it's probably closer to eh, 110, 115. So if you're a buyer in this market, you really have to understand that uh, it's not going to get better. Yes, more homes will come on the market historically. Market, homes come on the market in March, April, May, um, but rates are dropping a little bit and buyers will be out. So here's the thing. It's the buyer versus the seller ratio. So even though there might be some more homes, there are going to be more buyers than sellers. So the gap actually is going to widen, in my opinion, between the number of buyers and the number of sellers. And so when there are more buyers than there are sellers, it likely puts upward pressure on prices. We've seen it this past year um, where prices have risen significantly, even though there are no homes for sale and, and the interest rates hit 8%. And, you know, so with a, an interest rate in the low sixes, uh, high fives, you're going to see more buyers in this. So it's going to really be a challenge for you. Now, if you're a seller, there are unique strategies for selling and maximizing your profit and also being able to move into the next home. So reach out to me for some information on how to do this to maximize your ability to have a smooth transition and get what you want. Because as soon as you a seller, you're actually a buyer on the other side for the most part. Um, you know, and, and so you've gone from a position of power to a position of weakness. And there's really some challenges there as well. Uh, lastly, my 50-page uh, market report just came out. I'll give you a list of everything that sold uh, in Hoboken. The Jersey City one will be ready next week. Uh, definitely want to check that out. DM me, reach out to me in some way, uh, text me, because um, it really is going to give you uh, um, some real information about what, the, what historically has happened and what the uh, future projections are going to be. It's really great stuff. I have some stuff there that shows that the number of homes available for sale, and I track the market, I've been tracking it for 22 years. The number of homes for sale is the lowest it's been. In 22 years, I've been tracking the market. Even, if, you know, the all the things that you think happened 10 or 10 or, or 20 years ago, this is it. This is the lowest amount of homes for sale. So just be aware of that as we kind of go forward and uh, reach out to me for more information.